Ever since I received the Pebble Time from the Kickstarter project, I've actually been using and loving it. I've gone back and forth with other watches, but this is the one that I keep coming back to. And so now that Pebble has actually been purchased by Fitbit, I've gotten the question more than a few times, what's next? What is the best smartwatch on the market at the moment? And unfortunately, there's not a really great answer. The Apple Watch and Android Wear watches all have not great battery life. I think they've gotten better than when they first released, but I haven't tried one recently to really be informed on that, so I'm not going to comment on it any more than just the last time I tried. It was a couple of days at best. The Pebble Time, though, was as much as seven days at its best. And I still, like I said, I still use this and I still love the watch. I don't know why I never did a follow-up video on it. Which is why when Pebble announced their Kickstarter for the Pebble 2 and the Pebble Time 2, I jumped in on it day one. I was ready to go. I pre-ordered the Pebble Time 2 and the Pebble Core. And, as you might be aware, neither of those products exist at this point. But the third one does. So just to give it a shot, just to see if it's still a viable option, at least until Pebble and Fitbit figure out what they're doing or something else comes out of the would work because I know the Android Wear 2 watches are supposed to be coming out next month and moving forward so we might take a look at those down the road. I found out that Best Buy has available for sale the Pebble 2 SE and the Pebble 2 HR. The difference between those two being $20 and a heart rate monitor. And personally I, I don't use a heart rate monitor. So I have in front of me here today, long story short, long story long, the Pebble 2 SE. Let's take a look at it. Now the big difference between this and the Pebble Time that I'm using currently, it's gonna be kind of obvious when you first look at it there. Pebble Time has a color e-paper screen, whereas the Pebble 2 does not. I haven't really used the color screen on the Pebble Time for anything, so I'm not really gonna be that bummed not to have it. I was just looking for something newer, something that's in a little better shape, because as you may be able to see there, my Pebble is getting a little rough around the edges. And just like the previous Pebble watches, up to seven days of battery life, 30 meters of water resistance, outdoor, easily readable e-ink, e-paper display, you can use your voice to do replies, it does your notifications, activity, and sleep tracking, and it also works with both Apple and Android, so for pretty much everybody, it's gonna work for the time being, until, for whatever reason, they stop doing the software. Hopefully that's not too immediate. But, inside of the box. Hello, hello, bonjour. So up here at the top, you've got some info about putting the strap on and taking it off, how you charge the watch. Inside of this nifty little section here, important safety and warranty information, a Pebble sticker, which actually I didn't get a sticker with my Kickstarter Pebble Time, as well as the rest of the startup information on how you set it up and everything. And then down at the bottom is the Pebble itself. So over on this side, we have the USB charging cable. Looks just like the one that came with my Pebble Time. And I'm just testing the fit very quickly. Yeah, it magnetically clasps in there just fine, which means hopefully I can continue using my Pebble Time chargers and not have to worry about this one. You've also got the watch band over here with Pebble branding on it. Information here about Pebble accessories and personalized it. it says it's a 22 millimeter band and last but certainly not least is the watch face itself and actually I will say upon getting hands on this the first time as compared to the original pebble which I've seen a lot of friends and co-workers own the watch face is significantly smaller than the original pebble putting it up next to my pebble time the face itself is actually about the same size if not a little bit bigger and the form factor the fit and finish of it it's a little slimmer it's a better profile I'm just immediate impressions I'm actually liking this a lot let's go ahead and peel this cover off. Okay, there we go. So right up next to the Pebble Time, you can kind of see the screens are about the same. The bezel is about the same. You lose out on a lot of this plastic around the outside. And actually the build quality. The build on the Pebble Time felt all right. It felt plasticky, kind of like a kid's toy. This one feels nicer. It feels more like a standard wristwatch. It's still plastic, but I don't know. There's something about the feel of it in the hand I'm okay with. Let's go ahead and install the bands though. So it should be as simple as, and it's not, <laughs> just hold the pin sort of reach it in there. There, that. Basically you slide the pin in this side, you pull down on this little pin here to push it in place, which locks everything in and you just slide it into the other side. Should be simple. I had a hard time with it, but that's just me. A whole lot easier than a traditional watch band though. Other side, same concept. Just sort of pinch this while pushing in and put it in place and we are securely, firmly, there. This is very much the same kind of band that I had on my Pebble Time. If anything though, it's a little bit slicker than the one on the Pebble Time, so I don't know how long I'm going to be keeping this band, but just initial impressions. I do like the way the watch looks, and just putting it on the wrist, it's a whole lot lighter. That's not bad. Although I could definitely see replacing this with a metal watch band. Having it like this for sports will be very nice. But let me go ahead and get this started up. We'll just hold the power button on the left. 
well, the back button, the multifunction button there. And it says to use the pebble.com slash app to get it. I've got the Pebble app on all my devices. Just went ahead and forgot the phone on this one so I can make a clean connection. We'll say add new watch. It is a Pebble 2. It says turn on your Pebble and hold it next to your device to pair. And it says new Pebble found. I didn't even have to do anything extra. Pairing request. And good job, the Pebble is now paired, getting all the updates that it needs. So far, I'm a big fan. I'm actually liking this a whole lot more than what feels like now a very bulky Pebble time that I was using before. And we're back. That update took a little longer than expected. And as you can see, for me, this was the default watch face. There are four buttons on the device. If you're not familiar with it, you have the back button here, the home button, the multifunction button, whatever you want to call it up, down, and select. And what I believe is the microphone here. There's no speaker, there's no heart rate monitor or anything. If we go ahead and hit the select button though, we go into the menus. We've got weather data up there at the top. I'm covering up because of location info. Workout information, settings menu, music, notifications. I apparently just got a text from something. Alarms, watch face settings, a step counter. And some of these things are things I've actually installed, so they're not gonna be standard for everybody like Battery Plus I did install. Pandora is there because I have Pandora on my phone. And then there's also timer. You can see there with the settings, it does say how much battery life is left. So all in all, this hasn't changed all that much from the Pebble Time. As I said before, we do have a slightly different profile just in terms of the size and shape of the device. But if we hit the down button, it actually appears to run just a little bit faster. Let's try that again. Just from this watch face, we'll hit the down button. Maybe it's just me. The buttons on the Pebble 2 are a little bit clickier. But again, this could just be because the, the Pebble Time is a little older. And it seemed to be just slightly more responsive on the Pebble 2. I'm very much okay with that. In terms of the watch faces, there's a brand new one called Kickstart that just came with the update that just ran. That's what it looks like. I suppose it's supposed to get you going in terms of working out. I normally do, I think, the 91 Dub or Clear. Clear is the one that I have over here. There's also just a bunch of other ones. Uh, most of these I've installed, like Big Mickey, and this is gonna have to pull it over from the phone. But either way, I'm probably going a little more in depth about this than I probably should at the moment. Suffice to say, does it make a whole lot of sense to be investing in an environment that's probably gonna be going away very, very soon because Pebble, like I said, got bought out by Fitbit? Not really. For a hundred bucks, if you're looking for a new watch, if your watch's battery has died, a hundred bucks for a lot of people is right at that sort of tipping point where you can kind of justify it to help you get by until the next big thing happens. And for me, <laughs> The Mickey watch face finally loaded. Anyway, like I was saying, that $100 for me was right at that tipping point where I can justify that, I can afford that for a watch that looks nice, that's gonna help me continue to get through the day using my notifications and everything, interacting with my phone without necessarily having to pull it out, and to add an additional 20 bucks on top of it to get the heart rate monitoring, if that's something you're into, it's definitely an option. Although, from what I've heard, in terms of just being a fitness device, the, the Pebble 2 and the Pebble 2 HR are not really all that great at that. But still, I definitely enjoy mine, and I'm gonna hopefully continue to enjoy it with the Pebble 2 moving forward for a little while. So I'll put links to where you can find the Pebble 2 SE and HR over on Best Buy's website, possibly on Amazon, wherever else I can find it. Let me know if, like I was saying, if I'm crazy for picking this up knowing that Pebble is going the way of the Dodo. I don't think that I'm that crazy because it's still a nice device and as long as they don't just send out a kill switch signal to it, it's gonna work for a little while and I like it. So thank you guys as always for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to receive more and I'll see you again next time.